Joining us now from Capitol Hill, member of the Financial Services and Foreign Affairs Committees, Republican Congressman Lee Zeldin of New York. Congressman, good to have you with us. My mom has a complaint about the paving on Route 114 on Shelter Island, but Important. we'll pick that up off the air yes. uh, back in your district. We'll talk about that Done. later. Okay, good. Uh, it's a great me, interview. Let's talk, let's talk about taxes. You oppose the House GOP tax bill. You say it's because of the state and local tax deduction. You're bucking a lot of your party, as you know, by doing that. Paul Ryan says he thinks he has the votes to get tax reform through. What is specifically your opposition to this bill? Well, the state and local tax deduction, for one, has been around for over 100 years. I view taking it away as a geographic redistribution of wealth. You're taking more money from a place like New York to pay for deeper tax cuts elsewhere. Uh, there are good things that are in this bill, uh, but you know, when I look, I'm, I'm a New York congressman, I represent a New York congressional district, and I know that if I'm not fighting for my home district, if I'm not fighting for my home state, I can't expect my colleagues from other states to do that for me. Mm -hmm. uh, so the, the taking away state local tax deduction is a big deal. Uh, the, the medical expense deduction, eliminating that is a big deal for people who count on that as well to be able to afford some large medical bills. Uh, I would love to be able to get to yes, but not on this bill. I'm a no to this bill on it, in its current form. Uh, when they decided to keep the property tax deduction up to $10,000, that was progress, uh, but just not enough progress for me. So do you think this change is enough for you to get to it? I mean, there are a lot of people in the country who also object to this, as you call it, redistribution, the taking away of that deduction. Can it be changed enough for you to get to yes? Well, in its current form, uh, no, I'm not going to right, vote for Will they this change bill. it to meet you? You know, we had a long meeting last night. Uh, Major uh, Majority Leader McCarthy, Whip Scalise, Chairman Brady, uh, some of my New York colleagues. Uh, that's what we're talking through. Uh, it, it's really, you know, a, a, a decision that needs to be made, not just on the House side, but as this bill goes to conference, you have on the Senate side. Uh, they're proposing to fully eliminate the state and local tax deduction. So what I'm seeing the fight for is to maintain a $10,000 property tax deduction coming at a conference, not to be fighting for uh, a further protection of just hardworking, middle-income Long Islanders and New Yorkers. Uh, so I, I would love to see it change. I, at this point, I, I definitely don't see it happening before mm. Thursday, but I'd love to be surprised. So, uh, Congressman, before we get back to the priority here this morning, the unpaved roads on Shelter Island, <laughs> uh, let, let, let me ask you about aspects of SALT state and local taxes uh, in this proposed bill. And maybe you can help me out. Maybe you can help the viewers out. They label this potential piece of legislation as tax reform. But if you look at the elimination of state and local taxes and where it impacts the most, half of New England, New York State, Pennsylvania, uh, Eastern Seaboards, California, stuff like that, it appears not to be tax reform but tax revenge, because it goes against blue states more than any other states in the union. Mm. So my question to you is, mechanically, internally, how does this happen? Well, I, I think that, you know, for one, there's a belief in other parts of the country that, uh, that they are financing these states uh, by having the state and local tax deduction. Uh, while it's been around for over 100 years, uh, it's a form of double taxation. Uh, it's one of the ways Abraham Lincoln helped finance the Civil War. And our states, like New York, for example, is a net contributor. When you look at overall tax policy, spending policy, we send more to Washington than we get back in return. So that belief that they're subsidizing us somehow is just not true. We're a net contributor even with uh, the SALT deduction. Uh, and then, you know, they also want to be able to finance some really important tax cuts. I mean, there are good aspects of this bill. And when you took out the proposal for the, butter, the uh, border adjustability tax, that's over a trillion dollars. So now the, their need uh, to be able to eliminate SALT deduction became even that much more important. Uh, but when, when you really get down to the, the raw numbers and you start analyzing some middle income families uh, and some other wage earners and how this impacts them, uh, unfortunately there's too much of a, of a hit. Now, I understand that the reason why our state and local tax deduction is as high as it is is because our state and local taxes are as high as they are. So while we are having this debate about what the future of tax policy should be in Washington, we really do need all levels of government to be doing whatever they can to provide tax relief, because I don't want to see New Yorkers keep fleeing my state. 
and it's not just any one decision made at one level of government. Congressman Lee Zeldin, thank you very much for being on the show this morning. Thanks, Congressman. Thank you. We'll get that road paved. Thanks. Yes, get it done. <laughs> Still, I Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube, and make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories, and you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.